Hi everybody, it's Vela here. Welcome to a new video and today we're in CAS and I am creating a new version of my SimSelf. Um, the last time I created a SimSelf was exactly a year ago. I did it for a video for Pride and I had like Pride related questions in it and stuff like that. I won't be answering those questions um, today because you know it's still kind of, you can go watch the previous video and the answers are still kind of the same but I wanted to do something for pride um, on my channel as well. I've been building um, some pride themed houses um, on my own time but I wanted to do a video as well and I thought it was time to update my sim self. Now when I say update I don't actually update it. Um, I make a whole new sim this time around uh, so that there is enough content for a video. Um, I don't actually remember how closely this resembles my other sim cells but I do think it kind of looks like me. Um, of course it's really hard to do certain things in the sims and also um, I'm at least like really blind to my own face if you know what I mean like I don't know what I look like I have these ideas of what I think I look like but um yeah I'm trying my best and uh actually in this video I don't give myself bangs but a couple days after making this sim I did cut them so um but of course you know hair is a changing part I think and it's not as well, it's important, but it's not like super accurate because I couldn't really find any hairstyle that was 100% what I have right now. So I chose a few different styles that all kind of look like my hair um, and now I have bangs with it. Um, but you know, it's it's all good and a sim self, you know, overall is more like an idea of yourself. At least that's how I like to think of it. And I also then went for like a little bit more of a colorful makeup look and stuff to tie in with the pride thing. And um, here you can see the first version, uh, the first face and outfit soon. Um, I mean, the face is done, but I do a few outfits still, and yeah, um, yeah, like I said, I recorded this over a week ago already, so it's been a while, but I wanted to get this out while it was still Pride Month, but, you know, we should always be proud of ourselves and who we are, and, um, yeah, if you are a part of the LGBTQIA plus community, just, you know, know that you are valid and even if Pride Month ends, it doesn't mean that you should um, stop speaking up about things or being proud of who you are. Um, I don't know, I just wanted to put that out there and if you are struggling right now in your situation, whatever that might be, just know that it will not last forever. Um, I've been very fortunate to have like mostly people who are very supportive around me so I've always been fine in that regard but you know it's always it always has its um, downsides like not everybody is going to understand what you are and who you are and who you love but those people don't really matter um <laughs> right now for a couple of days it's been really really hot um it's like 30 degrees and I don't have AC. I have to keep my windows open and so it's all the time like as warm as it is outside. So that's really great. Um, it's not very pleasant but you know I am surviving. Um, for the sim I like all the outfits are something that I would wear if I could, but they are definitely more on the flashy side. So I was imagining what I would wear going to Pride or some event like that in the summertime. Something a little bit more fancy than what I just wear every day. But yeah, like I said, these are still things that I would definitely wear myself.
So yeah, um, I do wish I had these clothes. I definitely don't have all these and that was not the point anyway, um, but I do have something like it. Um, I don't know, I feel like I'm rambling. It's been a while since I've done a voiceover and I'm not like really sure where I want to take these. Um, I hope you enjoy my rambling. Um, but I did still have a few things to mention in this video. Um, I haven't done the CC list yet, but I am going to. I hope I can find as many things as possible. Um, I never find everything, but I will try my best. And yeah, here's another outfit. I think I give her three outfits overall, um, or maybe even four. Um, anyway, and all are a little bit different and all of them also use a different hairstyle because lately I've been liking to do different stuff with my hair and even though the length isn't like super consistent like this this hair is a little bit shorter than I really have and it's it's not exactly what I have it is still a hairstyle I would totally wear and it is quite similar to what I used to have um before bangs so yeah um also I gave myself the aspiration of master maker or whatever the new one is from eco living because I like doing all kinds of stuff. I've given myself the painter one before but I don't want to just do that um, mostly and then I've given myself traits creative, geek and vegetarian. That is it for today here. You can still see all the outfits. Thank you so so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys! Bye.